So the one thing I have learned over the years is that Uber and Lyft try to make it impossible for you to reach them with an issue or with a legal issue, right? And if you have been shorted money, if you have been deactivated, right? To go to customer service and expect any results, forget about it. We should all know that. We've all tried it. We failed, right? If you go into a hub and you try to get things resolved with the front desk or with the manager, nothing happens. They'll push you away. They'll push you to a specialized team. So I'm sharing with you uh, an email directly into that legal department. It's called litigation dash demands at Uber. If you have specific demands, send them, right? I demand that you pay me this money, which you haven't depart deposited in my account. I demand that you fix the loopholes or the holes, the doors in your system. Hackers have come in and, you know, invaded my account. You're not doing anything about it. Put them on notice. You, the first step you want to do is put them on notice. It's the same when we send out the wrongful deactivation letters, right? And we put them on notice. Um, 60, 70 percent of the time they realize if they do not cooperate, you know, we follow up, uh, send the links of that specific state. Let's say it's California. We will send the driver, you know, the links to the case. Um, and when like Dara says here, I just want to show you this. This tweet says, keep it coming. Dara, we will keep it coming. Now we're going to keep it coming hard and heavy, right, to your legal department because you're not, you're not doing anything. So we're going to put these guys, keep it coming. Yes, we will. Um, he, that, by the way, this was a response and this fits into the overall theme here, right? I just want to tell him we are coming in form of drivers filing small claims um, cases in pro, per, in pro persona, representing themselves going after their own money. So Dara, yes, we are coming. And here is an absolute lie. This guy, dude, Randy Clark says, every Uber driver I know here in Phoenix made $40 an hour before car expenses. That's not what I've been hearing, Randy Clark. Um, you know, did they, did they pay you to write that? Because uh, Dara responds, keep it coming. We will keep it coming, Dara. And that is in form of small claims court filings. We're going to educate the drivers, send them the forms, whether it's California, whether it's Alabama, whether it's Florida, whether it's Texas, right? Reach out to me anytime they have wronged you, anytime they owe you money. Sure, you can go to Gig Rocket. We'll assist you, right? We'll get it out for you. But if you want to go directly to them, and um, if you've been waiting on your referral money or your referral bonus or you haven't been paid or they've baited and switched you or they have shorted you or they've kept your tips whatever the case is never just give up you got to file 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 my friends um if if you need the links and you don't know the links come to me email me please i will guide you in the right direction so you can go after them right but ultimately, where you want to put them on notice, telling them, right, hey, I don't appreciate this. This is what happens. I mean, Uber support is so pathetic. And anytime you are owed something, anytime you have been wronged, anytime you have been deactivated, you go straight to the legal department. You can be nice in the beginning sending a letter, but then you have to have to take action. It's the only language they understand is when they have to pay money, right? Or they have to hire their paralegals to deal with your issue. And that is straight to litigation dash demands at uber.com and get it resolved with them right there and then and just tell them straight up front, right? You as a driver, tell them straight up front. If you do not address this issue, I've gone to support I'm waiting on my background check. You are doing nothing. If you do not take care of that, right? If you do not um, step in and take control of the issue because I am losing money as a driver, I'm notifying you 
and I will go to small claims court. And if you want to know how to, how to do it in small claims court, I, I literally have a now 15, personally, 15 out of 15 record. 15 filings, 15 wins, right? Myself in small claims. I will coach you. I will help you. I will show you how to get your monies back. And that, that could be an ref unpaid referral bonus if they've baited and switched you. That could be them screwing you over on a background check. That could be a wrongful termination or deactivation. That could be tips that they're withholding. That could be earnings that they're not paying you or shorting you. You go after them. Never, ever hesitate to go after them. So step one, put them on notice. That's, that's the email. And I'm outing this email. I don't care a rat's ass, right? What these attorneys at Uber think. We're going to pound them. That's, that's the only way you will listen over there is when we cost you money and a lot of money. So you have the right to represent yourself. You have the right to go into, um, into small claims court. And if they give you the BS runaround, you know, when, when you try to opt out and they try to make it difficult now in the verbiage and try to confuse you, just let them know, you know, send every email you have. I am opting out of your terms um, and conditions, right? Let them know so that there is a receipt. You know, this ain't going to bounce back to you. This is actually going to be received. So they have been put on notice. So many a times I have sent FedEx, I have sent, and they don't want to receive it because they do not like to take responsibility. That is the biggest, biggest flaw in their system. They do not, as a company, they do not know as, a, as an attorney how to take responsibility. Divert, blame, change, push away. They experts at that. I mean, Tony West has taught them all the tricks to circumvent, right? We will not allow ourselves to be circumvented, right? You go file the paper, the summons, right? You, the, the, the proof of service is so easy. Once you have filed your complaint and you have calculated your damages, very, very easy. In California, for example, I think it's called, the form is called the SUM 100, the summons 100. You print out that package they are the defendant, you're the plaintiff, you put in the address, you put in the company's address, you're representing yourself, you have the evidence, you get a third party over 18, could be your mother, your brother, your friend, you drop it off at the hub. There, there we go, you've been served. And whatever nonsense, for example, at LA, at the LA hub, it's, it's too funny when you try to serve them, they try and give you like a, a helpline or they try and push you away. No, you here we go. Here's the documents. If they want to drop them on the floor, you've served them, right? So don't take any nonsense from anyone at the hub. I've trained these people well, right? I've trained these drivers well. When you go and serve, or you go with somebody that is serving, right? You, you personally cannot serve your own papers. You have to get a third party. They have to get strict, strict instructions. You walk into the hub, or if there's someone sitting in, the, in front of the hub that's taking... Um, appointments, right? Well, he works for Uber. He's a representative. Here we go. Boom. You've been served. Bye-bye. And you leave. No excuses, no feedback from them. You ignore that. There's the papers. Come and see me. I invite you into court. And usually that happens a few weeks later. So please, folks, never give up. If it's if it's a hundred bucks, 300 bucks, a thousand bucks, 10,000. In California, you can sue up to $10,000. Go after your money. Step number one, you put them on notice. There it is. I've given you the direct in to their legal department. And they ain't going to like it. They ain't going to like that we're going to share uh, phone numbers and emails, but so shall it be. If you're trying to confuse us, if you're, trying, trying, you're not trying to give us an end, if you try to always reject us, if you don't publish any phone numbers, any emails, we'll take matters into our own hands. We'll infiltrate your system and we'll out the information. There it is. Use it for any type of, so if you're not having success with Uber support, you're not having success with your papers, your background check, they're shorting you on your referrals, they're shorting you on your monies, they're shorting you on your tips, there we have it, right? And again, I sort of like that one uh, message there uh, where Dara says, um, keep it coming. Dara, I have a message for you. I'm gonna keep it coming and coming and coming until you want to listen, until you want to cooperate, because you're going to spend a lot of money 
because of this channel. I'll make it very, very simple English for you. If you um, disrespect drivers and push them away and think they're going to go away, no. We're going to empower them. We're going to educate them. And they're going to be coming after you. Everyone stay safe.